Sturgis West. Season West. Uh, this is Kyle Sevitz here from Sturgis West teaching you how to use Google Meet and the grid view within Google Meet for Sturgis 2.0 uh, digital learning that begins early April. Go ahead to Google Chrome, load Google Chrome as your browser. If you do not yet have Google Chrome and grid view installed, please install. Please watch that first video I made. Within Google Chrome, go ahead to your calendar. Upper right hand corner, you can click the Google Waffle, that little three by three grid, open up calendar, brings you to this screen. Your teacher will, teachers will eventually have all of your classes created on a repeating uh, schedule. So you can just click that. You can see this red bar is showing I'm a little before nine. My next meeting is at nine. You can click that nine o'clock example A block meeting and here are your options for joining. First you can join by phone, dial that number and enter that pin. If your Wi-Fi is down, your data rates are too high, you don't have unlimited data, please go ahead and join by phone. We are happy to have just your voice. You can also join digitally by clicking this link or entering this address. I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of the instructions as if you are able to do that. By following that, you'll get this screen. You are not yet logged in. You can see this green button, join now. You are not joined into the meet yet. Here, I want to test a couple things. First off, this is your mute button. Uh, when, it is, when it is red, you cannot hear your voice. You know your voice is being recorded because right over here, those three dots start dancing when your voice is being recorded. Uh, next, video camera, you can toggle this guy on and off uh, to make sure your camera is working. Note on video camera in the screen, image it's capturing. Please make sure you are fully dressed from head to toe. You may think you're only going to get shot from here to here uh, until your parents come in and ask you to stand up and go do something. Your dog or cat comes in and starts getting in, making a mess out of your stuff and you jump up and go get that thing. Uh, you may suddenly find out your whole body is showing. So please make sure dressed head to toe. Make sure it is school appropriate attire. Uh, no alcohol, drugs, images, inappropriate images on your shirt or pants. Uh, same goes for the wall around you. Even if you think you would wear pajamas to school, please do not wear pajamas to these face-to-face uh, -face meets. It's a very unique situation where we are teaching into bedrooms and study spaces. So please show up as professionally as you can as a student. Um, walls. Again, nothing inappropriate on the walls. Make sure you're not looking straight into a bathroom that one of your family members might end up using in the middle of your phone call. Make sure it is something, hopefully, you don't have a lot of traffic behind. If you want to show us a little bit more about yourself, you're a sports fanatic, you're a super into horses, you're super into travel, make your wall fun but just make it appropriate. Next, let's join the meet. Press this green button right over here. Join now. This will give you only one image if you are the only one in the meet. Let's enable grid view so that as more people start populating, you can see all of their faces tiled on the screen. That is this icon right there. See how it has an X cross through it? Grid view is not enabled. Go ahead and enable it. You can highlight the speaker so whoever's talking ends up getting a colored box around them. That's nauseating for me, so I'm going to turn that off. And I like to see myself in the grid as if I'm part of the conversation. This shows you who's in the call, who's potentially currently talking. And here's the chat function. This will allow you to say, question. Teacher might not see that. So just like a class, we don't always see your hand being raised. Please. Feel free to make your voice heard. We hopefully don't hear your voice because you will, the majority of the time, our classes are going to have all the calls muted. Um, you'll have a lot of potentially background noise, uh, making it very hard to hear 18 different students and all the background noise and a dog and a cat and all that stuff. So you'll keep yourself muted most of the time unless it's a very small class and that teacher tells you there is a different expectation. Unmute yourself, say quick question, and get the attention of the teacher, especially if we're looking at another screen and we actually can't see those uh, chat threads coming through. 
when you're done asking your question, you're done responding, you're done saying hi to everybody or goodbye to everybody, make sure you mute yourself back. So your default is when you're not talking, your microphone is on mute. You can also turn captions on. That button is right here. You'll see the captions start getting generated. Google is pretty good with these. Not perfect, but pretty good at converting voice to text. Last thing I wanna cover is if the teacher is trying to present something to you. They may want you to be able to see their screen large instead of a teeny tiny tile. So someone might ask a question like, oh, I could show you a graph for that. I can show you an excerpt from a poem for that. Um, go ahead and turn grid view off. Again, that's this upper right hand corner, turn it off and that will maximize the screen of the person who is currently talking. If that won't stay, you can hover over the image and press the little thumbtack icon and that should pin it permanently to the center. When the presentation is over or whatever you're trying to read is over, go ahead and re-enable grid view for group discussion. That is it for Google Meet. When you are ready to exit the call, you press on this red telephone right here in the middle. That is going to end your call. You have left the meeting. No one can see or hear you anymore. If you left accidentally, just press rejoin and you're right back in. That's it for Google Meet. Good luck with our digital face-to-face -face meetings starting a week from today. Uh, that would be April 8th, I believe. Adios. Stay well.